Well, well ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome to Castaway Key. This is Disney Cruise Line's private island. We're going to give you a full tour of this beautiful island, plus tell you all the tips, tricks, and hacks that you need to know to enjoy your day here on Castaway Key. And not only that, we're going to have loads of fun, sea, sand, and beautiful food as well. So it's going to be a good one. Let's go! We arrived into Castaway Quay at about 8.30 in the morning. Let's go explore. It's great, so towels are available right as you get off the ship. So remember to pick them up. You don't have to bring them off the ship with you. They have loads here. Right, let's head into the island. Castaway Quay was initially known as Gorda Quay, which meant round or fat in Spanish because it's rounder than most islands in the Bahamas. It's also widely rumoured that pirates used the island during their travels in the 1700s. Eat your heart out, Jack Sparrow. The walk is absolutely spectacular. Gorgeous view and a fabulous view of the ship as well. Some great photo points on the way. Ooh, it's hot. So first tip of something that you definitely need to pack is your sunscreen. And sun hats. Yes, very important. Make sure you do pack them in. We always pack a beach bag as well, and it has lots of things there, like our sunscreen, sun hats, all of that jazz, as well as a watch or a phone so you can keep an eye on the time for those all aboard times. That's really super important as well. You don't need to pack towels. That's not needed because you can pick them up here on the island. You don't really need to pack anything really apart from your sun gear, it's all you really need, isn't it? Yeah, there's plenty of places to grab drinks on the islands, water, sodas, but I still recommend bringing a water bottle so you can refill it, so you can keep some water with you at all times, but don't panic, like I said, you can do that on the island. Yeah, there's little drink stations and water fountains all around the island so you can keep nice and hydrated, it's super important you do. Absolutely, and one thing we recommend you bring is your camera. There is loads of photo spots all around the island and loads of character interactions even just on this walk here there's lots of spots where you can get photos with a ship in the background and they have props and cute little scenes set up all around so make sure you do bring a camera with you as well and that brings us to that we think you should walk instead of taking the tram because there are some beautiful photo spots all along the way to the main beaches on the island take the tram back if you're a little bit tired that's the best way isn't it yeah absolutely the walk from the ship to the first beach which is the family beach is about six or seven minutes so it's not too bad and if you get off early enough during the day it's usually a little bit cooler so it's a lovely walk. So whilst we show you some beautiful sights of the island just now let's tell you a few more things that you're going to need to pack and what you don't need to pack. Some things that you're definitely going to need are your key card, your key card from on board. It's a completely cashless cruise in a cashless island so you're not going to need any cash at all because there's nowhere to spend it. We also recommend that you bring a waterproof phone case as well just in case things get wet and it's lovely to get some photos whilst in the sea and things so you can capture some lovely things in there so like David said bring your camera because there are so many photo opportunities it's so bright so you're definitely going to need the sunglasses we also recommend comfortable shoes as well so things like flip-flops or a pair of water shoes are a really good idea as well and goggles especially for the kids so whilst you can hire things on the island things like boats and uh, floaties and things like that we recommend bringing your own scuba kit because it's much cheaper and you'll get to barely use it again on some of the other islands on your trip. Some things that are really not required, like we said towels, don't bring them because you can get them here and drop them off here as well. Strollers and wheelchairs, you don't necessarily need to bring them here as well because they're available on the island. And they even have wheelchairs that are great for beaches so they have bigger wheels so they're much more easy to push on the beach. How cool is that? Anyway, let's go check out some of the island. It's so lovely to be here and because our ship's half quiet, it's really dead. But usually we would recommend getting off as soon as as you can. So get off as soon as the doors open. We haven't arrived till late and it's so quiet. This is still one of the benefits of cruising after the pandemic. It's still very, very quiet. Let's go have some fun. I'm so excited and this beach is amazing. And I see Mickey too. Thanks Mickey. Have a good day. Thanks Mickey. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Awesome, so many character spots, it's so fun. So just as you get off the ship, the first thing you hit is Scuttles Cove, which is the kids club on board. So if the little ones want to go to the kids clubs, check out Scuttles Cove. Yeah, there's so many cool photo spots around the island. You can take your own photos or they have the photographers as well. So if you want to get your photos from them, 
they are all around the island and then you can get your photos back on the ship. So first up on our tour of the island, the first thing you're going to hit on your left hand side is the beach where you can hire out all of the beach toys. And then just next to that you have the stingray adventure where you can swim with the stingrays. You'll also bump into a few shops, a first aid part as we just passed as well, the kids club as well as some restrooms slash toilets depending on where you are in the world. But it's really nice, we do recommend you book these beforehand as they do sell out very quickly. You can book them on the app whilst on board as a shore excursion or you can book them before you even come on the cruise. Sometimes there is still availability on the island if it is a little bit quieter like today so you can just walk up and use your key card to buy it. Anyway let's move on I think the next part is the family beach and this is the main beach on the island. Let's go! And there's even hammocks on the beach. Now these are usually very difficult to get when it's busy here but there's loads and they're all free. Let's have a try. See if I can get in here, Grace. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Balance, Ben. Balance. 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 I need to. Need to shift your body weight. Oh my god. Oh my god. My, everything's fallen off. Absolutely lovely. Should we just cancel the rest of the tour and just stay here for the rest of the day? Yeah, sorry guys, we're just going to stay here for the rest of the day, I'm really sorry. Only kidding. Let's get off and show you the rest. Plus we've got yummy food coming on later on as well. Ow. Thank God nobody saw it. Well, apart from you guys, I well, a lot of people saw it then. The family beach really is spectacular and it's all natural as well with really calm waters. There's plenty of sunbeds, they're all free to use and loads of areas just to chill. We do recommend if you get the chance, like we said, do walk around the island. You get to see all of the different areas. There's lots of bars, shops, fruit stands and lots more. You'll also find the cheeky ice cream machines around and drinks. There's Coca-Cola machines at each of the buffet stations. And talking about buffet stations, there are three on the island. There's two in the family areas and one in the adults only areas. We love a beach buffet barbecue. It's one of our favorite things to do on all the different private islands. So can't wait to try that a little bit later. So there's a few shops on the island as well. You've got the Disney shops, which pretty much sell the uh, merchandise that you can get on board the ship. And then you have a couple of local shops, which are by the local people and they have things like merchandise, hats, bags, gifts, stuff like that from the Bahamas. So we've now came to Pelican Point and this is the Pelican Lookout. So this is just next to the other beach. So there's another family style beach here and it's really big, lovely and calm again. And there's a lovely little lookout. There's also some slides as well as some little toys and things for the kids to play in. This is a really good place for the kids. There's lots of things to do and see. And the buffets and restrooms and shops and everything are really close by as well. That's one thing that we really love about Castaway Key. It's quite small, especially compared to say Coco Cay uh, by Royal Caribbean. It's very, very small and compact, so you can easily walk around, go to all of the different beaches and see all of the different things. But it, if you do want to still have a long walk, I mean, we've been walking for an hour now and we're still not all the way around. So it's not that small, but it's really lovely. Such a lovely beach. And are we blessed or what by this weather? Honestly, it is stunning. We were just told the last two ships that were here, it was rainy and miserable and cloudy. So thank God somebody's looking after us. That's awesome, it's amazing. Also at Pelican Point is the Heads Up Bar. Now this is a fab spot to grab a drink and get some awesome views of the ship and the beach. It juts out over the water, so it's absolutely beautiful out here. What a lovely spot. We just love that there's loads of different areas to chill and relax, no matter how old you are, if you're with kids or you're not with kids. It's such a lovely walk, especially when it's not too warm. Anyway, is anybody else feeling peckish? So we've gone to the buffet, it's food time. We're a little bit peckish after all that walking and we've gone to one of the family buffets. Now the buffet's open from 11.30 till two on our cruise, but check your cruise line app because it does differ and they do close at two o'clock because obviously they've got to get everything back on the ship. So make sure you get there in plenty of time. So what's on the menu? It's your barbecue favorites. So there's burgers, hot dogs, chicken, ribs. There's also some salad options, some salmon, as well as some chili beans. Plus there is some desserts. There's cookies, cakes, and some ice cream as well. And of course, lots of fruit. Can you tell I'm hungry? I think I went a bit over the top. It all looked so good and I filled my plate. I basically got a selection of all the salads plus some lovely corn on the cob and some salmon. Absolutely love corn on the cob. Let's give this a go. Yummy, super sweet and tasty. Just how I like it. The salads look really cool actually. The salads look wonderful. 
I got um, a potato salad, absolutely delish, full of flavour, there's some eggs in there as well, really tasty. Also got a green corn salad as well, plus of course some coleslaw and some pasta. That green corn salad is the one that is freaking delicious. Oh, so good. And I got some salmon. Everything's cooked in there, like on a massive barbecued grill, so it smells really barbecuey. So all the meats and the salmon are cooked on the grill, so super full of flavour. Really yummy. We love a barbecue selection. It is really, it's the highlight of the day on Castaway. So good. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I love the barbecues in all of the islands and I know Disney does a good one. I think we mentioned it, but we were here back in 2014 and today is uh, May and it's a lot hotter. Honestly, this is one of the best times to come to the Caribbean, just before hurricane season. So if you don't want really stormy weathers in the afternoon or you don't want it to be too hot or you have the threat of a hurricane, avoid sort of June to October time. So just before summer, so like April or May or like November, or the end of October. We always find so nice in the Caribbean. It's such a lovely time because in that summer it can get super stormy every evening. We love the storms so we're not complaining and it can get so hot and humid. But hey, I've got my lunch and what an amazing location to have it. Honestly, we're in paradise here. You can hear the birds squawking. We keep having geckos and lizards. We just saw a, a, a ring-tailed lizard walk past. It is crazy. It is freaking awesome. One of the things that we love about Castaway Key, say compared to Coco Key, we love Coco Cay by Royal Caribbean, but this is much more rugged, real, feels like a real island. Anyway, for lunch, got the ribs, and these ribs are huge. I've got three of them because I'm a right pig. And then I've got some uh, char grilled chicken. Let's try everything. I'm gonna go in for the meat first of all, my, my carnivore meat first of all. Look at that, slips right off the bone. No effort required, which is fantastic. You're on vacation, you don't want to spend hours getting meat off a bone, do you? Anyway, let's have a taste. Cheers. Na 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 na, this is love. This is love. Oh my God, that is divine. I remember those ribs eight years ago. They've stuck in my old brain since then and they're just as good as remember. Absolutely scrumbly, dumpshily delicious. Let's try the chicken. I'm already weed, it's got loads of skin on there as well, like char grilled, grilled skin and I really love that. Wonderful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Absolutely delicious. The potato salad as well is to die for. Really tasty, really creamy really delicious i am super happy right now there's just a drink st uh, station just around the corner with all of your coca-colas and sprites and waters lots of sauces as well if you want a burger hot dog or anything like that they even had like braised beef burgers like brisket looks really delicious as well probably going to go back for seconds i'm not going to lie to you guys anyway i'm going to enjoy the rest of this and then it's my favorite time of the day dessert time is bb still hungry no bb it you know, I think I've recreated that scene from The Lion King. Do you know when they go to the little graveyard with all of the animal bones and things? That's what my plate looks like right now. Look at that dinner and a show. The seagulls are about to attack again. Mine, 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 mine. 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 <laughs> We've got dessert now, everybody's favorite time of the year. We've got some soft serve ice cream. It looks like Olaf's pooped into a cup. It really does. It looks like he desperately needed the toilet and went in the cup. I mean, look at that. And it's <laughs> dripping everywhere. Look at that, dripping everywhere. I went, for the, I went for the classic vanilla. You can't beat the classic. Keep it classy, San Francisco. You can't. That's so true. And what's best is that we've came up with a new solution to life right here. We've got a cookie, a brownie, and some cake. And we're just gonna pop the ice cream on top of the cake and brownie and stuff. Oh, that's a nice, ooh, look at the thickness of that cookie. That cookie oh, is babe. thick. That's the way the cookie crumbles, in a good way. Is it, Absolutely delicious. Is it a chocolate chip off the old block? It is wonderful. The chocolate cake's really good as well, as well as the upside down pineapple cake. That brownie and that ice cream, winning combination. Yeah, me. I look crazy, I don't care. There's nobody around us, we came to the corner. We've hidden the corner for no judgments, so we can gorge in peace. Well, mm. apart from all the animals, I feel like bloody Dr. Doolittle. I know. Kaka! Kaka! Oh, you really are one in a melon. My gosh, guys, I feel wrong. I feel filthy. I've ate far too much. I've completely overindulged as usual. So I went on a diet for two weeks before this cruise, just so I stopped putting on so much weight. But the only thing I lost was 14 days of happiness. Anyway, we've got more stuff to do. Let's go head over and check out the adults area. 
And another fab thing you can do on the island is you can hire bikes and they have a bike trail as well which goes around the island and there's even a lookout point in the middle. And if you want to be even more healthy and do even more exercise, certain sailings have the Castaway Key Run where you even get a medal at the end. They do this on most of the sailings that arrive early in the morning. So if your ship arrives at say seven o'clock in the morning, they'll do the run at first thing because obviously it's a lot cooler then. So just check your app or check the planner to see if they're gonna be doing the run on your cruise. I won't be doing that. I will safely not be bothered if there is a run on my cruise or not. So we cheated and we're getting the tram to Serenity Bay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry not sorry oh my gosh this is lovely breeze through my hair this is the life eh in the Bahamas wonderful oh can't wait to see the adults on the area fun fact this island used to be a drug trafficking island that's why we're going through a runway now so this runway here was used to traffic drugs between other places in the United States so drugs were dropped onto the island and then gone and collected by boats a bit dodgy but now it's um, here for better things. Rumour is actually it was um, owned by Pablo Escobar. Crazy or what? Yeah so the plane here is actually one of the planes that crashed on the island that was used to traffic drugs and Disney just slapped a little bit of Donald on it and said it was Donald's aeroplane. Love it. Quackers. And welcome to Serenity Bay. Now this is the adults area here on the island. There's a barbecue here as well, which is for over 18s as well. It's a little bit smaller, but just to say all of the barbecues, all three of them, exactly the same, no matter where you are. It is the furthest walk away from the ship. So if you don't fancy a walk, the tram comes every 12 minutes or so, so and stops about 45 minutes an hour before the ship is due to depart. So yeah, so behind me, there's another shop which does all of the snorkel, de snorkel? Does all of the snorkeling gear and all of that jazz. There's also some cabanas and all sorts. So we're gonna head over and have a look at the beautiful beach now. And also in the adults only area, you can find massage huts. These are huts where you can get a massage. Wow, this beach is freaking spectacular. It is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful white sands, crystal clear waters. It is beautiful. It is less pruned than the family beach because it's all natural, it's more rugged but it's still absolutely stunning. I can't wait to get in that water. It's so hot, it is calling me, like Moana to the sea. Gosh, I can't get over this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Top tip though, if your ship is busy, the quietest time on the island in all of the places is about an hour or two before you're due back on the ship because a lot of people go back to the ship very early because they get a bit hot and things so you can have this to yourself but this is just pure paradise. This ocean, the colour is like crystal blue, white sands, loads of seats and loads of umbrellas for you to pick from. Again, no char extra charges there. David, should we get in the water? Oh yes please, it's so hot, I really need to cool off. I am so, so hot, I can't wait. Loads of people always ask, why do we wear tops while we're swimming? It's because these are rash guards and they protect you from getting sunburned as well, which is really nice. Yeah, you don't have to put sun lotion all over your body. Yeah, so I love wearing these, I just feel more comfortable as well. Yeah, because nobody wants to see this. Trust me, nobody wants to see a beached whale. Bird. Welcome, Welcome to, to paradise. paradise. Oh, this is amazing. Pinch me, David, is this real? Ow. Oh, Jesus, not that hard. Sorry, you didn't tell me to pinch you. Thanks for coming along with us. This is just incredible. We're so glad we can bring you along on our little adventures. We really are, yeah. but this is just lovely. Guys, so now to compare this to Coco Key, so Royal Caribbean's private island that we're just on before. Honestly, I've got to really say I love this island. Yeah, I mean, compared to Coco Key, it is more developed. So Castaway Key is a little bit more rugged. It looks more natural. Oh. It's obviously developed and themed to an inch of its life because it is Disney, but they've done a good job in kind of making it feel a bit more rugged. It is. I've, I've got to say, I love, I love, love, love Castaway Key. It just feels so natural. The sea and the beaches are so much better here because they're all natural. There's no pools here, but it's just lovely. I think the food was better here as well, to be honest. Not in the, not in the cabanas that we had, but 
yeah, the normal food on the island is better here. We're just gonna soak up the rest of the sun and just enjoy the rest of the day, aren't we? Yeah, have a love it. Yep, it's a couple of hours till all aboard time, so we're gonna milk every single moment left of this beautiful island and of this beautiful cruise because tomorrow we get booted off. Talking about milk, I've got nipples, Greg. Can you milk me? What the fudge? <laughs> I'm gonna go sit in the sea now and get cool. Let's go, David. Let's put and, the camera away for a bit. And have a wee. And have a wee, yep. So guys, the adult beach is actually really, really shallow and you can walk out legitimately for almost half a mile and it's only way steep. Just look at this water. Isn't it just gorgeous? My God. We saw a starfish a minute ago. And we an, we and did? And an octopus as well. Yeah, we saw starfish, octopus, a sponge, rock thingamabob. A pineapple, a, and pineapple. a bottle of Moe. <laughs> this is awesome, isn't it? It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, so the water's about booby height at the moment on me, and I'm six foot two, but it's gonna get shallower in a second. It is awesome, so I'm just walking. I'm just going for a stroll in the ocean, do you know what you do? It's David behind me. He's a little bit shorter than me, so... Um, he has to swim a little bit. <laughs> How cool is this? We're getting quite far out now. I know, but it's still not getting cold. It's still lovely and warm and it's getting shallower and shallower. It's beautiful. Me and Ben were just laid there. We're just planning our house that we're going to build here. Yeah, we were like, we're going to have a lovely concrete house. So it was okay in hurricanes. Yeah. Lots of security and lots of food options. So we, yeah. need, a, we need a few restaurants, a McDonald's, a Domino's <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look how shallow it is now. And we're quite far out. I would quite happily get stranded and stuck behind on this island, would you? I'd happily eat them coconuts for three days until the next ship comes in and picks me up. Good Lord, we can't take him anywhere, can we? He's a national embarrassment. I can't say anything, I'm worse. Oh no, so sad, we've got to go back to the ship. You know, we are two of the luckiest people in the world that we get to cruise. A lot. Don't get me wrong, we work a lot on cruises. We do a lot of filming and a lot of behind the scenes stuff you probably don't see, but we are incredibly, incredibly lucky. And we don't forget it ever. And because we do get to cruise a lot, we're never usually that upset when we've got to leave somewhere. But this place is just, it's spectacular. That water is just heavenly. It's been such a lovely day. I'm really upset to be going back to the ship. We've had a real magical time. <sighs> Feel very relaxed now. Time to go back to the ship. Boo hoo! Boo! All aboard! Uh, the worst bit of the cruise. The last night, it's a bittersweet moment. Uh, but we have one final dinner back on the ship. Let's go. Bloody hell! It was a bit of a rough ride. So did you know that Castaway Key even has its own post office? Yes, you can actually send postcards from here, but that's a cute little touch, isn't it? Something a little bit unique. So glad you can wash those feet before you get on. There's nothing worse than a sandy cabin. No sandy feet, but make sure you do press the right one because I nearly pressed this one, I would have got soaked. Boo hoo. I've never been so disappointed to see a cruise ship as I have now. Back on, need to pack. Forgot we do about need to that. pack, let's pack first and get changed for tonight. Yeah, let's pack now then, we don't have to do it tonight. And. I think it's an early start tomorrow to get off, so we need to do it tonight. I love all the decorated doors. In case you didn't know, lots of people like to decorate the doors on Disney cruises, which you don't usually see on other cruise lines, but it's quite fun, it's really cool. If people are celebrating, they'll put up uh, magnets and things like that, and we've even seen ones with fairy lights and all sorts on it. It's such a fun thing. Also, a great way to find your cabin. Oh, so we're just back in our room and we're just starting to pack. Is that the worst point of a cruise ever or what? We just wanted to speak about some of the things with Disney Cruise Line, which may be different to some of the cruise lines if you haven't been on them ever before. Regarding gratuities, you're left a little leaflet into your room, which gives you a breakdown of exactly where your money has gone, which is really good. So basically it's split uh, between your server, assistant server, head server and stateroom host. And it gives you a little breakdown of that as well, which is really good. If you do want to give a little bit extra, you get these handy little envelopes in your cabin as well, which you can use to recognise any special service, and you get to give your name, stateroom number and anything, and you can just hand these to your server, to your stateroom assistant, whatever, and give any crew member you want them a little bit of an extra tip, which is really lovely. Disney works a little bit differently. As usual, you get 
ta uh, baggage tags to put on your name and the character that you get corresponds to the area where you'll pick your bag up. So if you put any of these on your suitcase, when you get off the ship and then go to the terminal, you'll go to the Chippendale section. It can be a number of different characters, but how cute. And we'd pick up our bag there and you'd pop them outside of your stateroom before you go to sleep. So on the final day, the day you get off, the morning you get off, you would have already been assigned a dining room. You can find this information on your app and a specific time when you have to go for breakfast. This is when you'd leave your room, you'd take your hand luggage with you, you'd have breakfast and then unfortunately leave the cruise ship. And that breakfast will be the same service that you've had all along. So this will be a good opportunity to give them their tips. We have to say that the crew that we've had are absolutely amazing. Our server Marcelo, our assistant server who is Erica and our amazing stateroom host who has cleaned our room better than we've seen it for absolutely ages. He's been an absolute star and we've loved all the town animals so we just want to give a big thank you and a big hug to all of the amazing crew. Anyway I'm going to finish off packing and then uh, we'll get dressed for tonight. Guys I'm calling this semi-formal. It is semi-formal night tonight. Uh, there is one formal night and one semi-formal night per seven night cruise. Top half's all business and formal and the bottom half's all party and Caribbean. It's like a semi-formal, isn't it? I have to do, won't it? We are all changed for our final evening on board for Animator's Palette and this one's going to be a really special one, isn't it? Yeah, this is the f really fun one where you get to do lots of drawings and your animations come to life. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go, should we go? After that animation class, our drawings better be good, Ben. Let's do it. So Animator's Palette is at the back of the ship and it's not actually that much of a uh, long walk really. Some cruise ships like the Wonder that we were on recently, oh my gosh, they're the wonder of the sea is not Disney wonder. So long it takes about 15 minutes to walk from one end to the other end, but this one only takes like two minutes, it's lovely. Yeah, you have to pack a lunch box if you're going out for the day. Yeah, you do, this one's just super easy. But let's go, really hungry, looking forward to this final meal on board. Boo-hoo! Always goes so quick when you're having so much fun, doesn't it? It really does. The last day is such a bittersweet moment, isn't it? It is. But, not to worry. We've got more cruises coming. So We've got more subscribed. cruises coming, yeah. So hi guys and welcome to Animator's Palette. Now, it looks quite different from the one on the Disney Magic. It's really colourful in here and there's little toys and things and things on the wall and the shelves. It's really cute. Tonight is draw your own character night. So you draw your animation. It's really cool. And then later on, on the screen, you will see your own character dancing. It is so cool. I love this about Disney. Little magic touches like that are so cute, aren't they? So we better get drawing so we can see our animations come to life. What to draw tonight? <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Drawing myself, if I do say so, I'm looking rather fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, David, I love it. What a piece of art, look at that. Wonderful. Oh, it's even got the happy cruising shirt on there as well. Exactly, keep it on brand. That menus are awesome. If you tilt them, like rotate them, you can animate Mickey. So he does like a magic wave and then turns around and does a little spin. So cute. Yeah, it's really cute. If you're just stuck on your phone, you won't get fun menus like this. Disney in the details, eh? That's what it's all about with Disney. Well, less of that, let's have a look what's on the menu for tonight. So the bread course has came and tonight we've got yet another type of bread and another dip and very pink, it's a sun-dried tomato dip. One thing that Disney do really well, like I said, is all in the details. Just look at this little butter knife. It is so, so cute. It's a little painter's palette. I love it. I wonder how many of these go missing but they do sell them in the shop on board as well. So if you do, are tempted by stealing them, don't. Go grab one in the shop. You can grab a set for your own house, which is really cool as well. All of like the cutlery and the plates and everything and all of the little details around is really what makes like Disney quite unique to other cruise lines. They really go all in on the theming. It's what they're, what, what they're famous for, really. <laughs> so to start I went for a classic tomato caprese salad or tomato for our American friends. Simple things are so delicious, really lovely, tomatoes taste very very fresh and of course you can't let beat a little bit of lovely tasting mozzarella with some lovely vinaigrette. Mm. And doesn't my dish look just absolutely spectacular? I got the pasta so it's filled pasta with porcini mushrooms 
and a lovely cheese sauce and it looks really spectacular i'm gonna dig in now it looks too good it's got time on there as well so i've got time for this pasta at least oh 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 hello that is absolutely delicious so for my second course i've gone very light actually which is good because i've got pasta for my main i got the romaine wedge lettuce salad very pretty isn't it very beautifully presented again simple but really tasty yum and i got the malaysian chicken satay so it's basically skewered chicken with a side of peanut butter sauce really delicious i like this at home a lot from our um, thai restaurant so let's have a little uh, try delicious oh oh salty deliciousness the taste is absolutely delicious it's really wonderful so i got the uh, pasta dish which is a seafood pasta dish with garlic marinated uh, prawns or shrimp my gosh guys it looks beautiful really big portion as well so i'm so glad that i got small starters the, the shrimp is always beautifully cooked on here really nice done lovely texture lovely garlicky flavor super delicious and uh, i love the tomatoey bits as well really really good and i went with a classic i got the beef wellington which is cooked medium and it comes with a side of vegetables we've got some roasted new potatoes broccoli and carrots with a lovely red wine gravy shall i go in and check it out it looks and smells absolutely delicious let's have a taste mirror mirror on the wall is this the best beef wellington of them all it absolutely is it's really delicious really tasty tender steak just how i like it a good piece of cow this cow has done itself proud and the vegetables lovely and al dente super tasty and i love that red wine gravy oh yummy <laughs> Oh look, there's me on the left. It's so clever. It's so cool, isn't it? There's me on the end on the left. Oh, there's me. I was yellow there. so cute there's even 101 dalmatians all around the room i've never seen that before yeah on the floor all That's sparkly all glittery and sparkly it's gone all colorful in here the roof's all sparkly now oh i like that it's fun for all ages we've done it a few times now and it's still fun every single time so desserts kim i went for the peach cobbler which comes with a delicious custard and a dolce de leche ice cream now dolce de leche is one of ben's favorite cakes I mean three milk cake they're very fluffy in the middle really lovely taste with a, the sauce as well is absolutely delicious always do good desserts on disney really tasty fabulous well i went for something that i've never had before on five disney cruises and about 15 visits to walt disney world and disneyland's around the world i got a mickey ice cream a mickey ice cream head and it's got sprinkles all over it which have just spilled all over the table in a flurry of excitement because i was so excited about it i picked it up and it went everywhere it was like an explosion of mickey's face oh i'm looking forward to this oh oh the chocolate is good oh my god this is really good where have these been all my life people seriously where have they been these are amazing so you can order these at any time at all they're not on the menu but you can ask for them anytime you want if you don't get sprinkles who are you look at yourself in the mirror and be like who am i this place here right tonight would warm the coldest hearts it really would do it's such a lovely experience having the best time tonight love it i don't have to tell you this for your own health ben but you can actually order them from room service at any time of the day Aka, excuse me would 6am be too early oh my god so good what's mickey mouse's favorite dessert i don't know what is mickey mouse's favorite dessert mice cream <laughs> oh my gosh guys so our main waiter marcelo who's from chile just did the most amazing impression of chewbacca he's been promising it as all week it was absolutely hysterical <laughs> Anyway, we're done with Animated Palette. Such a wonderful meal. Our servers, Marcelo and Erica, are so lovely. They've been fantastic. We're going to head up to the pool area now. Why, you're asking us? Well, it's going to be really quiet. And we're going to get to do the slide and have a little bit of a free time in the pool with nobody else. It's the perfect time. Let's head up. So we're outside. 
stage and I'm gonna go on the aqua duck. How crazy is this? This is like a water coaster on a ship. There is nothing like this on a ship anywhere else. You've got your slides on normal ships, but this one is a water propelled coaster. How freaking crazy is that? I'm gonna go down, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this the whole time and it's finally time to do it because it's nice and quiet on an evening. So the perfect time, quiet pools, no lines for slides, the best time ever. Let's do this. Hey Stitch! Hey! <laughs> oh, you too! <laughs> that is awesome. It's really lame, it's really slow, so it's great for anybody in the family. And you can go on in twos or ones. So good. Your time now, David. Go, go. Gorgeous sunset tonight. Another bonus about doing it at this time of night. Plus you get to see all the lights. The lights look really cool on the slide on a night time. Let's go. My yeah, time. David, you're excited. Yay. Yeah, that's really fun. Very slow, <laughs> so anybody can go on it. Uh, but that's really fun. You go up and down, and the bits where you get thrusted up are actually really fun. And uh, yeah, I like going at night because all the lights are flashing and stuff. It makes it makes a really good effect. But yeah, super fun ride. Like I said, very slow. So anybody in the family will enjoy it. Definitely worth it. It's so fun. Not on any other cruise ship. Really good. Ooh. It's a bit deep. Oh, that's hot. I feel like a I feel like a lobster being poached. Burning. So that's it for us on the Disney Fantasy. We do hope you really enjoyed it and our journey along with us. Do hit that subscribe button and the like button. It really does help us out. And a big thank you to all of our Patreon crew. If you'd like to join us and become a Patreon crew member, in return you get awesome benefits like early access to our videos, ad-free videos, plus extra bonus content and those super fun monthly Zoom chats where we go live every single month for a big old cruise chat. Click the link in the description section below if you'd like to find out about becoming one of the crew. Yep, thank you so much. That's it till next time. See you next week. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. Ooh. All relaxed now. Yeah, me too. Hot tub fun. I know, I feel all relaxed. Night guys. Night. <laughs>